you've been able to do something that very few people do. You were able to grow your Facebook account really fast and your Instagram account really fast. I'm curious if the observations that you've had in devising different ways of understanding how algorithms work and how humans perceive the world, if you've been able to translate this across every social platform that you touch, are you able to have the same amount of success everywhere? We've been able to translate this across every platform and basically every industry. And the reason is we have a viral content engineering creation creative process that's backed by uh, 60 billion views, 100 million followers, and a billion in revenue for the projects we worked on. The reason that we are successful across platform and no matter what change or new feature comes to social media is that our first step of our creative process is research. So what does that actually mean? Some people think research is, let me just look at my competition and I'll try and emulate that. Now, typically your competition is gonna tell you what not to do because they're probably not succeeding at the highest levels, which is important. But what we do is when we work on projects, we extend that research to other content creators, other brands, other people that are really excelling at social media, even if they're talking about something that's nothing relevant to the piece of content that we're gonna work on. And the reason is we're not looking at the content, we're looking at the context of how they're delivering their message. There's over like 50 new nuances that we pay attention to. So it's down to like pacing, tonality, the personality types that we just talked about, how many edits, what are their first three seconds look at, thumbnail, captions, meme cards if there is one. What we'll do is we'll take a viral content creator or a viral content format and we have a research process that's called gold, silver, bronze. So gold is the highest performers, silver is like the middle performers and bronze is the lowest performers. Because if you just look at the highest performers, you'll never really understand what are those performance drivers that are pushing that. So we'll look at these high performers, the gold standard, and we'll start creating hypotheses of, oh, we think it's the way that they're editing it this way, or we think it's the way that they're delivering their message. But then we have to go to the silver and bronze to make sure that same performance driver is not showing up. Because if that performance driver is showing up, then we need to knock it out and go back to the gold and find a new one. So because we're deeply rooted in research and we do research every single day, it doesn't matter what platform. It doesn't matter when things get to the metaverse because we're always gonna use research to inform our creative decisions about how we need to contextualize it for success. Based on your research and your clients and what you do, is it possible for any person in any industry, any vertical to have consistently high performing viral content? Yes, and I can give you some examples. Like there is a YouTube account called Clear Tax Value. It's all about taxes, has over a million subscribers. They average like three to 400,000 views a video and they have several videos over millions of views. You may know Graham Stephan. He teaches finance to millennials. Graham Stephan, for example, is a perfect thing is like if he did a video that says, hey, I want to teach you about finance for millennials, nobody's going to care. But again, what we talked about the algorithms, you have to make the widest audience possible care for the algorithms to care and push it to as many people as possible. So you need to contextualize your message so that anybody would be interested in. In one of Graham's top videos is how I bought a Tesla for $78. Anybody would be interested in seeing that. And he's teaching people the principles of finance, but he's contextualizing it in an interesting way. There's another guy, Ryan Serhant, who's a luxury real estate agent. He sells properties that are 10, 20, 30, 50 million dollars. So his audience is very small, but he gets this, that I need to expand and make the average person care about what I'm saying so that I can generate millions and millions of views on my uh, videos. So what does he do? He's like, I'm gonna take you on a tour of a $7 million closet. I'm gonna take you on a tour of a $250 million ranch. And what he knows is he's playing to the general audience, so he'll generate millions of views. But even in those millions of views, if only 1% is his core target, he's out beating every other luxury real estate agent. And he said that he's sold 10, 20, $30 million properties off of YouTube because he's contextualizing his message so the average person cares. And that's the, the, the big challenge, but that's the big opportunity. That's really how you consistently go viral. 